In this video, we will discuss a little bit technical uh, details about the computation of neural networks. To be specific, we will consider the computation of converting the input to the outputs in one layer or one set of neurons in the same computational stage. I think the more complex part is um, um, how to formulate the transformation from multiple inputs into multiple outputs. We will write out the computation in specific way by um, um, listing the parameters and how the parameters interact with the inputs and how to compute the outputs uh, specifically, individually, and then we will find that we can combine them in a neat and nice form as matrix computation, which set up the next stage of uh, uh, efficient uh, construction of neural networks. So let's start consider the computation of individual neurons. So uh, here we can see if we have um, some number of uh, inputs, let's say, um, well, I think I will draw, yes, x1, x2, to xn. Um, and that, for example, in this layer of neurons, um, then the n should be 2. So uh, to be general, I just uh, write out the variables from x1 to xn uh, rather than uh, just uh, write x1 and x2. So for the output in this layer, there are two neurons in this layer. Uh, well, we will consider the case that uh, for example, we will have um, to compute the value for m neurons. Let's consider the um, the linear combination of the inputs. This core value of linear models for this m output outputs, say as um, a one to a m. We can write out the the, the equation to compute A1. Uh, in this formulation, let us temporarily ignore the bias and uh, only write out uh, how to compute the weighted sum of x1 to xn. We can write it as um, x1 times w1 plus x2 times w2 go all the way until plus x n times w n and uh, we then give this value to a1 uh, as you may realize that uh, because we are going to give this value to a1 we'd better to make some mark on those uh, width parameters because we then will need to distinguish those set of widths contributing to A1 with the second set of widths uh, which we will use to compute A2. So for example, um, let's write another one here to di distinguish the computation of A1 and A2. Uh, well, then we can write out the computation of A2 uh, x1 times w1 w x2 times w2 until xn times wn but uh, now the mark for the output is 2 So we can write all the way down until 
we've arrived um, um, x1 times w1 x2 w2 xn times wn and uh, with uh, an extra subscript of m and this will be given to am um, as we have discussed before and uh, I think this uh, kind of uh, um, sum of uh, mm, uh, uh, pairs of product reminds us the computation of inner product of two vectors so x vector and w everything of uh, the first output vector so therefore if we write this w vector in the column form and this vector as uh, the row format uh, well i think these two should be the same length um, this uh, illustration is uh, not very um, to the scale <coughs> so uh, we can they use the vector times vector vector uh, multiplication form to compute a1 so let us just do this I can move this down here as a reference uh, well I think I put a one here and remove everything here so I then write out um, the W parameters in the column vector this represents the sum hole of uh, an X sum hole so we have W1, 1, W2, 1. Uh, go all the way down we, until we reach Wn1. So this vector times this vector will give out the vector of the output um, uh, the the vector of the output values the first vector uh, sorry the first element in the output vector so we can write this out uh, for the second one w one two w two two go all the way down until w n two and the multiplication of x with this vector will give us this value. So we can go all the way until we reach the last output vector, uh, the mth, wm1, go all the way down to wm, uh, sorry, wn1m, nm. So then we will have um, a w matrix of n times m that converts n inputs to m outputs so in this formulation we have arranged the computation of uh, converting all the values from the input data into the output value uh, well we haven't reached the output value we have reached the, the uh, linear combination value of all the neurons the neurons in one layer let's have a look at uh, an animation of this process this is an animation um, illustrating the computation of two outputs from two inputs and you notice that this process is uh, recursive after we have arrived after we have arrived the values of the neurons 
and the output neurons in the first layer, right, nonlinearly convert them and use them as input to join the computation for the second layer of neurons and uh, reach the uh, linear combination and then we do the nonlinear transformation and get the final output of the entire network. Here is the example of uh, a, little bit of, a little bit more variables. So here we have three input variables and we have four output variables in the first layer. That means we have four neurons in the first layer. So Okay, now we are computing the last neuron. It has three pairs of products. And then we have a nonlinear transformation. And these four neurons in the first layer is combined with four weights in the second layer. And then after a nonlinear transformation, we get the final output of the neural network. And uh, finally, I'd like to remark that um, this kind of matrix um, formulation is hugely convenient because in practice uh, it is very often we do not deal with one training sample only. Uh, we are dealing with a lot of training samples simultaneously. So in, in, in this scenario we can easily extend the computation of matrix multiplication. See, let's write the index of train samples um, in, the, in the superscript, then we can add another row of this input matrix x1, x2, until xn. Um, now this is a little bit non-standard way of indexing uh, matrix using superscript with a parenthesis um, for rows, but uh, you get the point. This represents the second, this represents the second training sample. So maybe we have some number of training samples. See, we have K training samples. We can use exactly the same format of X times W. This is matrix multiplication. And let it to uh, be the uh, that the result to be a matrix A, and uh, following the, um, the the computation of um, matrix multiplication, the output rows are computed independently from the input rows. So we can easily put the superscript on the rows of the output here, and then we have A one to A M with superscript 2 and this is uh, solely from the compu computation of uh, uh, the second row of the x matrix with the parameter matrix and you can examine um, the consistency by uh, by checking out the rules of matrix multiplication if you have a k by n matrix times uh, n by m matrix. Um, those inner dimensions represent inner product um, where n elements are combined with n elements using multiplication and then you take sum. And for the outer dimensions, you will arrive the output of matrix of k times m which is uh, uh, consistent with the expected k output samples and in each sample we, we will have uh, m neuron values in the corresponding layer.